welcome back to another vlog. I am so excited because I get to start this vlog off with a luxury handbag unboxing. I made a purchase at Saint Laurent. I made one purchase at Saint Laurent and then I also bought something from Prada as you can see in the background. I teased you guys about it in the last vlog saying that I was going to unbox one or both of the purchases that I made in this vlog. I am going to be opening the handbag that I got from Saint Laurent. I don't have anything like this in my collection. My handbag collection is fairly small because I just recently started dabbling in designer handbags. I truly feel really blessed to be able to afford something like this and I worked really hard for it. So. Here we go, I'm super excited. I bought this as an evening out bag, like for date nights and more special occasions because it is more like a clutch slash very small slim handbag. So I'll show you, it is crossbody. It's like the envelope, you saw it in the title. You know what it is. So let me go ahead and open this up so I can show you guys what it looks like. I have not opened this since I bought it in the store. This is what the box looks like. Very, very beautiful packaging. All black, so slim and sleek. Ooh, Saint Laurent just knows what they're doing. So I love their aesthetic. They have this ribbon around. I'm just gonna take this off and let's see what the inside looks like. All right, so they just have some tissue paper. I'm just gonna open it because I don't plan on returning this. <laughs> Unlike the Cartier ring that I just returned. This one, I have my heart set on it. Okay, so it comes with this soft kind of dust bag. I'm just going to take it out. Okay, so this is what I got from Saint Laurent. Look how beautiful this is. She's a beauty, you guys. Okay, this color just immediately caught my eye because I loved how understated it was but it's still such a unique shade of beige it's so aesthetic i mean it will go with literally every single outfit which is very important to me because this is my only luxury evening bag that i have i don't have any other mini bags or clutches or anything in my collection that is good quality so i wanted something as like a foundation piece where i can wear with literally every outfit this color just screamed my name when i was in the store and i saw it online as well online it does look a little bit darker than this i was actually considering a different kind of more spring appropriate color i was looking at the pistache i'll go ahead and post a picture up here so you guys know what i was looking at i was immediately drawn to this color because i loved looking at it and i actually bought it but then i realized i should know myself better <laughs> i self-reflected i slept on that decision and i was not happy with that decision so i ended up switching it out with the nude beige so nude beige is the proper name of this color i believe but i'll go ahead and input the link if i can find it in the description so you guys know the exact specs and everything because i'm not going to go over everything in this video this is just a first impressions unboxing video it's not a review i've had this for literally one day which is basically like today this is the first time i took it out of the box with you guys because i didn't want to do it alone such a pretty color it has a beautiful sheen to it so it's not like a flat color at all and it has gold hardware i will never do anything other than gold hardware i might eat my words later down the road but for now i'm an all, all gold hardware girl i don't wear silver jewelry or anything like that so i wanted to stick with my tried and true gold hardware this is the medium envelope i believe so they have a smaller size of this it has a different structure on the inside but i will open it for you so i'm gonna just take this off just throwing everything on the floor <laughs> i am going to wear this out tonight because charlie and i are gonna try to go grab a drink together so i thought it would be perfect to take it out on its first stroll <laughs> so this is the um chain i 
really like the chain drop like the drop length because I am such a petite girl I do not like when handbags come with a super long strap because I don't like where it hits on my body it just usually like draws the attention downward even more and it makes me look even shorter which I'm not a fan of so I love the length of this this strap it's not too short it's not too long on me and I just think it hits at a really nice place on my hip this is what the inside looks like so it is adjustable but not really it's kind of like an illusion that you can adjust it but it's it's really not that functional but on the inside it has like two space um and then it has this divider in the middle that has a zip so you can put like your valuables in here you have two places where you can in like put actual things in it the thing that i didn't like about this bag to be honest with you is that it is such a slim envelope style and structure it's really really slim at the base so if you do put anything that has like that's bulky it's gonna distort the look of this bag and it will look kind of bulgy in places so i would not recommend stuffing this bag with honestly like anything <laughs> i'd put your keys your cards i if you have like a small iphone it would fit in here i have the iPhone Pro Max with the pop socket. I have a pretty huge phone. So I can I can insert it in here, like in the back or the front. This doesn't distort it. Like if that's the only thing I have in this bag, it doesn't make it look distorted or anything. But if I start putting in like lip glosses, hand sanitizers and all of that jazz in the front, it will end up getting a little bit a little you know funky looking so i'm not gonna do that i don't want to ruin like the leather or anything but this is just really for special occasions like i said i have a specific purpose for this as a wedding guest i would love to wear this um on date nights special occasions stuff like that so that's why i bought this bag this is what the bag looks like so i'm going to be wearing it out today i don't know why they have so many card holders <laughs> on the inside they have like 10 slots who carries around 10 cards with them? I don't know, you, some people do, I guess. I don't, I carry like three cards max and then my ID, so definitely not gonna fill that up. I'm obsessed with this color. I know that I'm gonna wear it with so many different outfits. I am really glad that I exchanged it for this color when I originally was planning on getting the pistache color. <laughs> yeah, you guys will be like, oh my gosh, Amy, you buy a green handbag? That's like absurd, yeah. It is absurd. I don't know what I was thinking. The more I looked at that color, the less I liked it for me. I think it is a stunning color for someone else who likes to wear that type of green, but realistically speaking, I'm not gonna wear that. Who do I think I am? <laughs> that is it, you guys. I'm gonna go head out, but I'll show you guys my outfit. Yeah, I'll show you guys what this looks like on me so you can see where this uh, handbag or a crossbody bag lays on me. So as you can see, I didn't adjust the, the chain strap or anything and it hits like exactly where I want it to hit. Right at the top of my hip bone. I don't like it to droop too low. Like I said, for the reason being that I am so, so short. I don't like when bags are all the way down my leg, you know, it's just awkward to me. And you like hit it with your thigh it's just not a fun look i think this will really go with any outfit um today i'm wearing this kind of lightweight jacket from not free people urban outfitters a long time ago my knit tank top this is a tank top by the way this is from aritzia i believe you can still get this i'll try to link it below if i can find it and my jeans are from zara and i think for shoes i might just wear my white sandals this is my outfit for today. I'm so happy with the purchase. I am obsessed. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I am getting ready to leave the house because I have a wedding that I'm working today. It's actually kind of a later gig because usually when I'm working a wedding on Saturdays, it's very, very early. I have to get up around like 6 a.m. That's kind of the average. This wedding is only for three people and I just have to leave my house at around 1 p.m. which is very late for me. <laughs> I have had a full cup of coffee. I was able to get all of my face 
face done today. I know the lighting is kind of sucky right now. I'm filming with my iPhone. I wanted to show you what Saturdays are like for romper. I also have to fold a lot of laundry, as you can see right here. This is all clean laundry. <laughs> this is all dirty laundry, so I have to bring that downstairs. I bought something from Amazon that I wanted to show you guys, but... <laughs> It's too large on my feet. So I got these slides because I thought they were so stinking cute when I saw it on Alex's YouTube video. She featured these in one of her haul videos and I thought they were so, so cute and thought they would be perfect for the bachelorette party that I was at last week because I don't really love being bare feet in public places such as the pool, community space. I'm just really ick. I have the ick when I'm bare feet, to be honest with you. I just don't know what I'm gonna step on. I just like my feet to be protect protected, okay? <laughs> no judgment zone here. I bought these for that purpose, but I couldn't wear it because they are too large on me. I got these in a US size six and it's giant. <laughs> I would say definitely size a full size or maybe even two sizes down because they are, they fit like, I wanna say a seven and a half in my opinion. I'm sadly going to return these and then I'm probably gonna order the next size down. They do have a US five and I'm hoping they will fit me, but these are so big on me. I'm almost scared that the US five size is still not gonna fit me, so. We will see. I'm gonna go ahead and return these, but they're, aren't they adorable? I think they're so, so cute. And I love this color, you guys already know. I love my beiges, so I had to get these in a beige too. And Alex got these in a beige, so I got them in a beige. So we would be matching if these would fit me, but they don't. And I do really love how soft these are. The cushion is really nice. And I feel like they'd be pretty comfortable. I thought I would show you something else that I bought. I don't know how to pronounce the name of this brand. I apologize. I should have looked up how to say this brand's name, but I love this backpack. Like this style of backpack, I absolutely love. I have this in a different color, but I wanted an all black. I've had my previous one, which I have right here to show you guys. This is a lovely kind of charcoal, bluish gray color and I do love this color as well but I just I'm a neutrals gal what can I say I mean this is a neutrals as well because it is more of that gray color but I just wanted another black one because I've had this for years I had this when I was in college <laughs> this was my college backpack which was I don't want to age myself here but um it was quite a few years ago it holds up so, so well. I mean, obviously it has wear and tear and like scuff marks, but for six to eight years of wear in college, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. So I love this. It has like these side pockets and I just, I find these backpacks so comfortable. It's the number two Konkin backpack with even like the black leather details, I love it. And it's the same size, has the same two side pockets here, but this does feel more heavy duty than my gray one, because I think this is made out of a different cotton material. I'm not sure, but this does feel more durable and I'm super excited to use this. Anyway, that is like my small little haul, I guess I wanted to show you guys. Exhibit two of what Romper does on Saturdays. Looks so good. Mm. I am filming some ad content for this brand, Splendid Spoon, you guys, and I'm so excited to try these out. So they have soups and bowls and chili and smoothies. I am so excited for this one. It's the kimchi fried quinoa green bowl. We have some wellness shots. We have a detox one, a digest digestive one. I can't speak. Recovery shot. So yeah, they sent these to me so that I can create some content for them. So I'm so excited to try these out. Hello, you guys. I am off to 
Sedona Tap House, which is like a brewery. We're meeting up with a couple of friends, so super excited to see them. It's been a while since I've seen one of my girlfriends, so she's gonna be there. And I thought I would show you guys a rundown of my outfit. I apologize for the mess in the background, and I'm not talking about Charlie. <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> you're not the mess. And I didn't mention it, like. I meant the <laughs> coffee table. Oh my God, that was funny. Anyway, so this is my outfit. So I will start off with my earrings, actually. These are so fun. I'm not sure if this will focus on them, but I love them. I got them from, it was like a freebie from one of the um, giveaway events that M Cosmetics was having uh, quite a few weeks ago. And this was just like included with my purchase so super excited it's really really cute i love it as for my top i have my sculpt knit tank from aritzia it's the cropped version i love this color perfect neutral and then my pants these are ooh, i think i got these from like nordstrom but it's been a really long time since i've gotten them but you guys already know how much i love these flowy pants for the summer because they are so cool and comfortable not restrictive at all these are just like the best i wear these a ton for my bag i am wearing my apc bag i love this color combination isn't this the most like perfect summer bag i am obsessed with this i need to wear it more i realized that i do have really nice bags that i haven't been able to wear because of the pandemic and i just haven't been doing a lot of things out and i've been really busy so I really want to do more things with friends and wear some really cute outfits. In terms of shoes, I don't know what I'm going to wear yet. Probably just like my white Cole Haan sandals, but I'll show you guys downstairs what those shoes look like. These are the shoes that I'm going to wear from Cole Haan's. I just love wearing white in the summer because it attracts less heat, first off. And I think they just go with everything, you know? So like effortless. But that is my outfit. It's been a couple days since I've caught up with you guys because I've been sick for the past few days. This whole week I've been pretty sick. I feel really congested, but today I feel much better. So I thought I would give you guys a little update on what I've been up to. <laughs> if you watched my previous video, the Aritzia try on haul from the clientele sale of 2022 you guys will know that i've been keeping myself busy even if i am sick because i tend to be very restless i'm really unable to just like not do anything and just rest i know that's like a huge flaw of mine but i am really actually happy that i got to do a lot of the things that i did while I was sick because I don't think I would have done it if I wasn't sick and stuck at home. I did get an actual COVID test done at a clinic yesterday and I tested negative, so I'm fine. I don't have the flu, I don't think. I honestly think it's just kind of one of those head congestion, cold. I've done so much decluttering and reorganizing my wardrobe as well as some other things around the house while I was sick because why not? I wanted to do something but I didn't have any plans with friends or family or anything like that so I thought this was the perfect opportunity to check this off the list of my to-dos. I have been watching so many YouTube videos on the IKEA packs wardrobe system and I really want to get them but Ikea and their supply chain have been really kind of difficult. I don't know. Everything's out of stock all the time. I've been waiting for them for a while now. It just seems to be out of stock every time I check which is really disappointing but I might look into some other solutions because I don't know how much more I can wait, to be honest with you. I'm like really itching to really upgrade my wardrobe system. Right now, I'm just using what is already built into my primary bedroom's closet, which I will show you right now because it just looks a lot better now since I've decluttered so much stuff. And I'll show you my cell slash donation pile. It's kind of just sitting on the bed of our guest room because <laughs> I had no other place to store it until I actually go out and drop those things off. Let me show you the donation pile slash selling pile first because it. you guys will be proud of me that I did this. Don't be alarmed. We are 
entering the guest room. <laughs> it just has a bed in it. All this stuff on top of the bed and on the floor. I have some camera gear that are really old. I have a Canon, my very first camera when I started filming YouTube videos. I'm planning on selling that camera along with some accessories. I have a consignment kind of camera gear store near me. So I think I'm gonna try to sell it to them. I also have a ton of shoes and bags that I'm trying to sell slash donate. I have another bag in here. There's just a lot of stuff that I decluttered, which I'm super proud of. I was very, very brutal this time around because I wanted to really start curating a capsule wardrobe. I've tried to really narrow stuff down so that everything in my closet I absolutely love and adore and brings joy to my heart. So that's what I did. I was very strict with myself. And let me show you guys what the closet situation looks like. We do have a fairly big primary bedroom closet. So it is right here um, next to the entrance. Hey guys, this is a different day. <laughs> I'm filming this portion because I looked at the footage that I took on the original day that I was showing you guys the uh, primary bedroom closet and the lighting just looked extra horrible in that footage. So I wanted to do a redo. We have our primary bedroom closet here. So we go through the store and I did do a lot of work on this closet to declutter all of my stuff and only leave the things that I absolutely love. This is combining all of my stuff with Charlie's stuff. This combines like all seasons together. So I don't have anything in storage. It's just all kind of hanging here. I just bring whatever's in season forward so that it's easier access and then things that are out of season towards the back. I have this little mirror. I didn't do anything to this closet. It came with the house when we bought it and these things I installed. Oop, that is my shirt that needs to be folded and put away. <laughs> I'm gonna put it here for now. This is my dirty laundry basket and I have my sweaters here, my jeans and pants on the right side. I have some extra hangers hanging over there, Charlie's button ups on the left and here we have undergarments and Charlie's socks on the left. We have the smear and then I have my tops that need to be hung up there and to the right side it's all of charlie's outerwear and hoodies on the bottom i have my lightweight jackets and cardigans up here for the spring and summer and i have these like heavier thicker knits and cardigans thicker blazers mostly like winter jackets and stuff like that towards the bottom and inside like towards the back and here i have my pants and shorts that are more formal. I also have skirts and dresses hanging from the top so that it doesn't like hit the bottom. On the floor, we have some baskets here. I do need a better organization system for these items. I have like pajamas and sleepwear. I have tights, swimsuits and all that stuff on the bottom in these little boxes up here. It's just like I said, bottoms dresses and then I have winter coats all towards the back. This uh, is a shoe rack that we got from Amazon a long time ago. It is currently empty because I decluttered my shoes and I took them all out and put them into storage boxes and left them downstairs where the entryway is so that it's easier access to the shoes. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this shoe rack out of this closet so that we have more space. That's pretty much it you guys. Oh, I am out of breath, <laughs> but this is so much better than before. I am really happy with the things that I left in my closet. And if you guys are wondering where I um, store my other clothes, these are like tops that can be folded. I put all of my tops in here. And then I have all of my foldable shorts and skirts in the right drawer. The second drawer here is my athletic stuff like leggings, biker shorts, sports bras. I believe this is my winter clothes. So like sweat, more sweaters, graphic tees, 
long sleeves and then the bottom two charlie uses for his stuff i know i am not a minimalist and i'm not claiming to be and that's not what i'm striving to be either i'm just trying to declutter the things that i don't use anymore and give them new homes better homes that's all i'm trying to do so don't come at me and say that <laughs> this is not <laughs> a minimal closet because it's not by any means and i'm just trying my best to be more intentional with what i keep and i think this is the right step so i'm super excited for this process oh yeah well, it came out okay charlie made us lasagna yeah it looks so good oh my gosh so much cheese <laughs> more cheese more fun that's true thanks babe yeah wow and we are having a glass of wine on this Tuesday after work. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close this vlog out here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Please like if you haven't already, subscribe if you wanna stick around and I will talk to you guys in the comments. Bye.